Good afternoon, folks, and welcome. Adrian Amos here from Synergy Technical with today's hot tip. Uh, I'm really excited because today's hot tip is all about licensing. And that is always a topic of fun conversation. So one of the challenges that I face when I go in and configure uh, customer environments or immersion experience or training experience environments is once we've gotten the base set of users in, uh, scaling up, one of the challenges that, that folks tend to face is how do I uh, assign a uniform set of licenses to my user base as a whole? Then sometimes it can even be, and how do I then assign a, a higher level of license to a small number of people, right? And it can be really challenging because a lot of times we, we tend to want to come to this screen right here and we say, well, I know that Adele Vance is my, my CEO or whatever, and we're going to go in and we're going to decide specifically which licenses and applications Adele should have. So let's say we're ready as an organization to spin up these licenses for Adele. That's fantastic. I've gone to this screen. I found them. Oh, but if we come into here, well, then maybe there's a thing that we're not ready to do as an organization. So now I have to go and find that particular license. Oh, and then I have to dig through here and say, oh, well, I don't want to light up uh, these four features for Adele Vance in this organization. Well, that's fine. But now what if I then want to do the exact same thing to 15 other people? There's really no good way to scale that. Uh, I would have to then go to all of those other 15 accounts and make that same change. I cannot, for instance, come over to products and services or licenses and actually carve out components of those licenses within the tenant. So in order to do that, what I actually generally do is I will come over to my Azure side. My Azure Active Directory gives me a lot more control. Um, I generally prefer to do when possible is assign licenses through group membership. Now I can only do this to security groups within Office 365. Can't do it to office groups or distribution groups. So in my case, I'm going to say that maybe my uh, whole workforce, which in this case is going to be all, and it's a dynamic group too. So my rules will simply say any user who is added to this environment when they are enabled, as long as their display name doesn't include conference room and they're not the MOD admin, they're going to show up here. So here you can see these are all my users that are in here and I can go in and assign a license, not just a total license, but I can actually come in here and carve it up how I want to. I can say, hey, my users are not ready for my analytics. My users are not ready for audio conferencing or phone system or whatever it is that I need to turn off. And once I save that license level, that's going to apply to all the people that are in that group. So in this case, I've got three separate licenses. I've carved up a couple of them. If I go back to my members and I look at any of them, I'm going to say Megan Bowen, for example. If I look at her licenses, I should see now that the licenses she has are all streaming from her membership in that dynamic group. But Again, sometimes we need a subset of users to have a little bit more juice, right? So I don't have any great additional licensings to add, but I could come in and say, hey, my engineering group, they need to have specifically whatever license. So the only other license I have to add to this space is Office 365 E3. It's a lower level, but it still works for the purposes of demonstration. I simply add that license, hit save, and then when I go back and look at my users that are in this group, let's see, let me go back, hit my members. Here's Johanna Lawrence. If I go to her account and look at her licenses, which I will then reprocess, now I can see that I have those licenses that were assigned by her membership in the all group, and then also the overlay of anything that came from her membership in another group. I can also still go to her account and assign licenses directly. So I've got three different layers of licensing that I can assign to her to get any level of granularity that I want while making sure that it's also scalable to the users who need that level of licensing. So thank you for joining. Uh, that's today's hot tip. Hopefully I'll be able to get another one out tomorrow. I uh, hope everybody's enjoying week number, whatever number this is of home confinement. Uh, again, thanks for joining. Bye.